Wow, this place looks pretty awesome. Hey guys and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Arena of Time. We are here in Zora's Domain. Just check this place out. It looks so awesome. We have waterfalls coming. We have like a peaceful soundtrack. And we also got real life Zoras. Just check these guys out. These guys are fishes but they also live outside water. Mind be equal to blown. Let's go talk to this guy. Who are you? We are the Zoras, the proud aquatic people. So, you say you have some connection with Hyrule's royal family? Well, what do you want from us? Give me the Zoras mask, bro. Also, these guys are immortal. Just to give you guys a demo, yeah, my slingshot actually passes through them. And that proves Zoras are immortal. Just kidding, I think it's the game being like buggy and stuff. And why would you have like two torches behind a waterfall? That doesn't make any sort of sense. Or does it? Dot dot dot. It actually does. Okay, this place looks so cool. I can't feel more excited. It looks so awesome. It gives me so much nostalgia. Zoras are my favorite race. And we are actually going to be seeing the king of Zoras. And um, he's conveniently located on the top. Because the kings must be superior over the uh, ordinary Zoras. Am I right? Am I right? And yep, that's the King Zora. He doesn't look uh, pretty healthy or does he? Let's go talk to the king. Oh my dear sweet Princess Ruto. Where has she gone? I'm so worried. Also king, I think that's uh, like a bee, uh, bee hive over there. Let me just shoot it. Oh, oh, looks like even the king is immortal. Obviously, if the Zora is immortal, why not the king? So it looks like he's referring to Princess Ruto. Huh. Who could that be? Hey bro, who are you? You look awesome. Dining game, 20 rupees. Wanna play? Sure, why not? Okay, pick up the rupees I throw from here. You have only a limited amount of time. When you pick them all up, come back here. I will give you something very nice. Magic, magic, boom. Looks like Zoras are magicians too. They can summon rupees out of nowhere. They're awesome. Start. Okay, Link. Woohoo! I love Link's diving animation. It looks so awesome. So as the minigame suggests, it's pretty simple, honestly. You just have to collect the rupees. And I think if you um, fail, you get... Uh, I think this minigame um, gives you 25 rupees. Which, if you fail to uh, get the minigame, and you miss one rupee, you get you can get like a free trial back. So as you can see, we already have 20 rupees. And if you collect this rupee, you're going to be having 27 rupees. Hey, congratulations! I got something very nice for you! Come and get it! Thanks, bro! Why can't you just throw it? I don't understand. Why can't that guy just throw the price down? Maybe it's so valuable that it'll break? I don't know. Let's go talk to him. Yeah! Also, the soundtrack of each the, each of the um, areas of the game are so beautiful. Kokiri Forest, Goron City, and Zora's Domain. And there are obviously many more. I'm not going to spoil them. But Zora's domain is so calm and so peaceful, I just love it. And if you guys remember, Goran City's music is all like jazzy and doom 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 Look at that, it's the first impression of the music. But let's go talk to this guy and claim the price. What a graceful dive. Now please take this. This is a scale of our kind. With this, you can dive much deeper underwater. Okay, Nintendo, please explain the logic. How can a silver scale Allow me to dive deeper? I don't know. You got a silver scale. You ju uh, jump into the water and press A. You can dive deeper than before. Okay, let's dive. Woohoo! Yeah! I think we can dive up to 6 seconds, I believe. Uh, rather than the 5 seconds. It's, fine, uh, it's kind of good. Also, as you can see, there's a, there's a small entrance which we couldn't have gone. So, let's see what the entrance is about. Can we go? Uh, I believe we can. Nope. Epic fail. Can we get a replay? No, that's so funny. Okay, let's go to the entrance and see what awaits in the opposite side. Can we go inside? Yep. Welcome back guys for some more Legend of Zelda. Sorry about that. I had to edit the video because I ran with some technical problems, but I fixed it. But anyways guys, we have made our way to Lake Hylia, a beautiful vast lake. And also there's a Zora over here. Let's go talk to him. Hey, I'm a Zora. Have you seen anything strange in this lake? The river carries many things into this lake. Huh, now that you mention it, I think I saw some rupees over there. And also, it looks like there's some kind of glass bottle. You know what, let's go pick it up. It could have something inside it. I don't know, it's just a guess. With that guys, we have got the bottle. You got an empty bottle. Put something inside and press C to use it. What? Something's already inside. Huh, 
It actually reminds me of some movies because in movies, uh, people will send like uh, SOS signals through these bottles. They will send like letters inside and hopefully somebody finds it. It kind of reminds me of some movies. Okay, let's actually open up the bottle and see what this letter has for us. By the way, this is the third bottle of the game. Yeah, awesome. Huh? It looks like there is something already inside this bottle. It looks like a letter. Help me, I'm waiting for you inside Lord Jabba Jabba's belly. Ruto. P.S. Don't tell my father. Huh, Ruto. It is a character that the king of Zor has actually mentioned. Uh, he has been telling that uh, Princess Ruto has been gone for a while. And looks like Princess Ruto is inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belly. What the heck? Also, this character looks pretty happy. You know what? To How to make this character more happy? Pick out your ocarina. Whoa! You have an ocarina? Hey, why don't you lay a tune on, uh, on me with it, baby? Okay. Okay, I'm going to actually play a song. And please let me know if you get the reference of the song. So, here we go. Well, not bad. I will remember it for you anyway. Don't, uh, I don't mean I can only remember eight notes, but let's just cut uh, it right over there, baby. Thanks. With that, guys, we have learned this character song. So if you play the same notes I played, this has become like an entirely new song. And if you guys don't know, this is the song of soaring from Majora's Mask. Yeah. And you may have noticed that I'm referencing Majora's Mask like a ton of times in this playthrough because it is one of the uh, not these one of my favorite games of all time for the n64 i just love it and majora's mask 3d is even better but the problem is i don't have 3ds but anyways we have made our way back to zora's domain because we will be showing this letter to the king of zora even though princess druto told us not to uh, tell it to her father but uh, as thoughtful father the king of Zoras is actually worried about Princess Ruto, so we must tell him that her, uh, her princess is actually inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belly. As weird as that sounds, yeah. But before we talk to the king of Zoras and actually activate this event, there are actually a couple of side quests we can do here in the Zoras domain. The first thing is lighting up torches. If you guys remember, uh, we have lighted torches here in, uh, in Goran city to get the big spot, uh, big part spinning and he threw a bomb inside and got a piece of heart. That's that's the same thing we are going to be doing, except there's no part and it's four torches. Yeah, we're going to be lighting up four torches and getting a piece of heart. It's a pretty simple piece of heart. And I actually like uh, doing the kind of side quests, you know. Uh, doing something out of the ordinary, out of the storyline is much more funner. And um, as you guys, if you guys remember, there are two torches behind the waterfall. Remember, I told you they were not just for freaking show off it is because there was a piece of art right over here yeah awesome i think this is our third piece of art if i'm not mistaken i don't keep track of those the game keeps track of it for me yeah with that guys we have got ourselves a piece of art now we have collected kind of three pieces with another piece your life energy will be pumped up yeah it was our third piece okay the next side quest is actually I don't remember. Yeah, the next side quest is actually getting a fish because um, if you guys remember, we have got the second bottle of the game from Talon who gave us a bottle filled with Lord Lord milk for getting that, uh, for catching the three cuckoos or should I say special cuckoos. I couldn't catch them. It was kind of sucky, but I got it anyways. We're actually going to be catching a fish if they can actually catch one like, like this. Yeah, with that guys, we have got a fish. This is a good sea. You never know when it will come handy. So I'm going to keep a fish just in case um, if the king of Zoras is kind of hungry. But it will kind of be weird because Zoras are kind of fish. Do Zoras eat fishes? Huh. I don't think so because it will be kind of eating their own species. Whoa, that became super dark. But let's actually show the letter to the king of Zora and let's hear his opinion, you know. So let's show him the letter. Oh, this letter. It's from Princess Ruto. Hmm, let's see. She's inside Lord Jabu Jabu? That's not possible. Our guardian god, Lord Jabu Jabu, will never eat my, uh, my dear Princess Ruto. But since uh, that stranger Ganondorf came here, Lord Jabu Jabu has been a little greener on the gills. The evidence seems to be clear. Of course, you'll go find Ruto. You can pass through here to the Alatar of Lord Jabu Jabu. 
I will keep this letter. You keep the bottle it was in. Take it respectfully. Please find my Princess Ruto immediately, Zora. Um, yeah, I could if you can like get up and move. And by the way, I'm not a Zora. I'm a Hylian. Oh God, I'm a Kokiwi. Spoiler alert. And if you just get up, come on, Zora. I told this guy wasn't healthy. See that? Also the crappy sound he makes. Wubik. 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 Oh, it's so annoying. Okay, can I pass now? That's a huge gap. Oh, <laughs> I, I, this scene is so hilarious. I don't know why. Yeah, this guy actually moved for once. Yeah. So we're going to be going past him and seeing Lord Jabu Jabu. Thanks, King of Zoras. I'll never forget you, even after seven years. Why specifically seven years? You'll find out. Ah, so beautiful. We have made our way to Zora's fountain. What the? What was that? Like a hippopotamus? Oh God. Hopefully you guys didn't hear the sound, but obviously you guys hear that. But this is Lord Jabu Jabu, looking like a freaking hippopotamus. I don't know why. Also the guys, for those who are wondering why my videos have been taking a while, this uh, sound you just heard was the reason because uh, first, uh, I don't know what happened, my system has been act acting all cranked up. Um, my USB port is connecting, disconnecting randomly, so I had to wait for a perfect time and actually um, record these videos because sometimes I have like background audio noises and sometimes the game doesn't respond properly and sometimes my controller doesn't work properly and this is why I couldn't record uh, consistently guys. Hope you guys understand it. But we are going to be skipping large Jabu Jabu and coming to this uh, peculiar uh, wall place thing because as you can see there's a golden rock, I mean golden stone as well as a silver stone. So let's press the bomb and see what happens. We broke the freaking wall. The bomb is so strong, it actually broke the freaking wall. But anyways guys, we have made our way to the Great Fairy's Fountain. And whenever you see a triangle, you know what to play. Play my favorite song. Zelda's Lullaby. So soothing, so awesome. And it's the best. You played Zelda's Lullaby. Oh crap, her voice. What voice should I give her? I don't remember. Okay, I remember. <coughs> Speak already, crap. Hey, great fairy. Welcome, Link. I'm the Great Fairy of Magic. I will gra give you a magic spell. Please take it. So she's kind of similar to the one who gave us the magic spell called Din's Fire. She's going to be giving us another magic spell which will be only used once. And that is in the Water Temple. Spoiler alert. With that, guys, we have got our second magic spell. You got Feroz Wind. This is a WAP magic you can use with C. WAP when you are in danger. You, you will teleport to the warp point. When you first use the magic, you will create a warp point. When you find the magic again, you can either dispel the warp point, you create a last time, or warp to the point. Yeah, it's, it's kind of useful. Remember, you can only use Pharaoh's Wind only in dungeons that you have a dungeon map in, uh, hidden inside, okay? When battle has made you worry, please come back to see me. Thank you, Great Fairy of Magic, for giving us one of the useless spells of the game, Pharaoh's Wind. Oh god, my... see that? And that's the problem. My uh, controller gets disconnected, connected. It's so annoying. And I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. This is the tenth recording I'm doing for you guys. I'm not even joking. This is the tenth time I'm, I'm recording the same episode for you guys. So, uh, hope you guys understand. If my videos take a while, you know the reason. But I'll try to fix this as soon as possible. But anyways, we're going to be seeing Lord Jabu Jabu and his, um, like seriously, what is he? Is he like a whale? Is he like a, like a hippopotamus? Is he like a fish? Is he like a shark? I don't know what the heck Lord Jabu Jabu is. And look at the, those big lips. Ugh. It looks kind of gross. It's, it looks like the same lips of the guy from, you know, the shooting gallery. But guys, in the next episode, we are going to be talking Lord Jabu Jabu and finding Princess Ruto. So thank you for watching. I will catch you in the next episode. Goodbye. Peace.